Hello and welcome back. It is, it is time to see this over with and defeat the destroyer. So, whoops, that doesn't help. Hang on. Let's get out of there. Uh, yep, that's the right one. Uh, wasn't such a great start. Um, buffing helps. There we go. Buffing helps an awful lot. And here we go on the last little bit of health. So, shouldn't be too long now. Before the destroyer is defeated. And the jungle grows restless. So let's get rid of that. And let's see how many of our NPC survived. Okay, the Clothier survived and the Wizard survived. And we managed to get it all done before midnight. So if we open up the treasure bag and collect our goodies. That does mean that we now have all of the equipment needed to create the mechanical cart uh, here. I'm not sure if I should use it or use a demonic hell cart, which provides it immunity to lava. I mean, the Terraspark boots also provide some yeah, seven seconds of immunity to lava. So let's see if we head down to lava level. The good news is that even in the mechanical cart, our Terra Spark boots do provide that immunity to lava. So I think it is worth swapping over to the mechanical cart for the additional speed and the weapons as well. But we do have other upgrades we can make. So we now have Souls of Might, Sight and Flight, as well as all of the Hallowed Bars, 81 Hallowed Bars, which allows us to create um, have we made the next caliber yet? I don't know if we have. We will need a pickaxe axe, that is for sure. And I want to craft five light discs. We will make the hallowed armor with the hallowed greaves, hallowed plate mail, and we want the hallowed mask for melee. And what will that get us? So 66 defense compared to 59. And as a set bonus, we get immune. We become immune after striking an enemy, which is pretty powerful. It does use up the rest of our hallowed um, bars, though. So we no longer have enough to craft. No, we do have enough to craft a light disc. Uh, two light discs. So we'll craft two light discs and I shall have to fight another mechanical boss again to get enough hallowed bars to craft the other three light discs. And to do this I shall choose to fight the destroyer again so I can get more souls of might uh, the souls of might are more useful to me than the other souls and are the souls in which I will have the least to spare of I'm expecting this fight to go much the same way as the other one uh, shouldn't need more than one heal 
and shouldn't take too long either. Look at that, I'm out of holy arrows. But that doesn't matter because we have killed the destroyer and it's just a couple of probes left. And well, let's clear out some of this stuff. We open up the treasure bag, we get another 25 hallowed bars, that should be plenty. So I did check and we haven't yet crafted Excalibur, which we'll, we'll need at some point for the Zenith and the Terror Blade before then. Not quite as good as I'd hoped. They might have been nerfed slightly in the transition to 1.4. Coming here specifically for the Demon Altar. No, I thought that if you use the uh, Demon Altar to craft the True Knight's Edge. Okay, so we need the Mithril Anvil. And he was me th thinking you needed a Demon Altar. And there it is, the True Knight's Edge. While you're here, guide, how do you craft the true Excalibur chlorophyte bars? Well, the good news is that now that we have our pickaxe axe, we can do that. So here we have the true knight's edge. which you now get a bit earlier than you used to. So I think the idea was that since by the time you got the Broken Hero's Blade to turn your Excalibur and your Knight's Edge into their true versions, you would just combine them anyway into the Terror Blade. But you still have the problem of Excalibur essentially being at a point in the progression where you're just going to upgrade it straight away anyway. Let us put the souls away though and we can go mining for some chlorophyte. Okay then, so the chlorophyte has been growing in for a while. Um, I have seen it here and there. There's some pockets around. You know what I should have got? I should have got some Spelunker potions. The other thing of course to find is life fruit. There's one. I already have five just from being around here. Um, when I was doing some fishing, run through the area and pick up some life fruit just from breaking bushes around so we won't have any trouble finding life fruits but if we take a spelunker potion then we also shouldn't have any trouble finding chlorophyte so you can see there's already plenty around move away from the little town that we have set up a little bit and let's find some nice big pockets. I should probably be a bit careful though that I'm not going to be uh, breaking any plantero bulbs by accident because while I probably could handle the fight with the weapons that I have I probably wouldn't be able to handle it without an arena. Let's head over there. The Rod of Discord. 
really makes getting around without having to mine a whole bunch quite nice. One thing I do miss about the uh, frost armor though is that you used to get a bit of light from the particles every time you swung your pickaxe. It's been so long that I've been relying on that to provide light. In fact, that I haven't been keeping torches in my inventory. So, breaking pots has once again become useful. There's another life fruit. We'll get that. I haven't actually come across as many life fruit as I thought I would. But if we check the piggy bank, so we've got 12 there and we've got 5 in there, so that's 17, we need 3 more. Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. I got rid of that slot that was keeping all the life fruit in. So there's life fruit, and we can head back. But I won't be taking them today. And that is because of what I plan to do in the next episode. Uh, which you can find out about then. It can be a surprise. So, what we can do now is craft a whole bunch of chlorophyte bars. About 50 should do. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted chlorophyte bars. So we can craft the true Excalibur. Or we can do the turtle armor. So there's the chlorophyte, or there's a turtle, I think. It is worth going for the turtle. Even though we have only just gone to the Hallowed. Because somewhere I have also collected some turtle shells from all the fishing I've been doing. Which means that we can get a big step up in terms of defense. And we can go all the way up to 85 from 78 to 85 and the set bonus is attackers also take double damage although that does leave us with not enough chlorophyte left to create the true Excalibur just yet but that's okay we've crafted enough for today Now, I did say last time that we would be doing another pylon build today, but I have decided to push it back one more episode to make a more cohesive episode uh, next time. So instead, I shall finish off by placing a heap of torches because I have yet to face the torch god okay i'm sure it was a hundred torches you you meant to place and that's definitely more than a hundred torches so it may need to be fought underground so i'll try that instead at the moment i'm just going for the easy route of Placing them down wherever until there's enough of them. There we go. Whoops. Dodging becomes a lot harder with limited room. So, whoops. Only 16 damage, which means that you're probably meant to 
face this a bit earlier on there's definitely a lot going on um, I'm not sure how long you're supposed to last to win the event or it's until every torch goes out isn't it which would be why all the torches are going out We're almost done? We're done. There we go. Which means I get to defeat the Mimic that spawned. And see if we got anything. Torch God's Favour. Unlocks an ability toggle to the left of the inventory when enabled normal torches change according to your biome. Definitely going to take that. And where is it? Biome torch swap on. And let's see if we can find any torches that have changed. So down here in the caverns, they wouldn't have changed. But if we head down to the glowing mushroom, none of them have changed. And even if I place another one, that's going to be the same. Ah, it's torches at your place. Not torches that are already placed. So if I just head up and check that up in here. Do we get a different torch? No, we still get the same torch. That is okay. We can live with that. Well, that is all that I had planned for today. Which means that now I shall bid you farewell and I will see you next time.